doing hope everybody's doing very well and I appreciate you joining me for shape of the day uh, let's get right into some of the products we're going to be using first starting off with the hardware something new the Parker 69 CR convertible now, I've been looking for a rake and I finally got one this is their uh, one of their rakes our open comb razors but this one has something very special about it that it comes with two base plates and the second base plate, which makes it convertible, is a closed comb. So in today's shave, I'm actually going to start with the rake because i got a, a little bit of growth, a couple days. And then uh, I'm going to pause it, and I'll let you know when I pause it. And I'm going to change the base plate on it and put the closed comb for just like a touch-up pass. So first pass will be with the open comb rake, and then the second pass I'll change over to the closed comb. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful design. Really, really like this razor. Uh, has become one of my favorites. It's got a great weight to it. It's beautiful. It's just a nice razor. So the 69 CR convertible by Parker. All right, brush, of course, the Parker uh, Black Badger uh, marble weighted or marble handled uh, brush, which is awesome. Uh, and then let's see, we got the razor that we're using is the Bosch cotton, uh, Russian razor, Teflon coated. Um, <clears throat> so we'll be using that razor uh, or that blade in the razor. All right, for product, here we go. Here's the software, brand new from Sh uh, Monroe Shaving Company is Sokolod. Sokolod. It's a uh, it's kind of a Mexican hot chocolate. So if I was going to say um, what the uh, or what the scent profile is, is cinnamon, cayenne, coffee, nutmeg, cocoa, and vanilla. It is wonderful. This is awesome. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And the smell is great. You can smell the cinnamon and coffee and the cocoa. Yeah, just it. If you've ever had a cup of Mexican hot chocolate, that's that's kind of like what it is, man. And it's it's awesome. It's got great smell. So we're going to be using that today. And what I've done is I've just dipped some of that out and already placed it right here in a bowl uh, and had a little bit of water soaking on it just to loosen it up a little bit. And then for an aftershave, what we're going to go is we're going to go with Nivea Men Sensitive Balm. I'm going to be out late tonight uh, in some cold weather, so I'm going to put on a balm tonight. All right, so here we go. And yes, I did say tonight because it's late in the afternoon. And I got plans. So here we go. Soap and brush together. And we're going to whip it up. So uh, tonight is, is going to be a fun night. It's the middle of the week. It's a Wednesday night. Um, but it's going to be the high school um, Georgia State football high school football championships. Got that all mixed up. Um, but yeah, so um, Cockwood County Packers, which is my high school alma mater, is uh, in the state playoffs, and so they've come up from South Georgia, where I was raised, up to Atlanta, and I'm not too far outside of Atlanta. And anytime they come up here to play football, I usually uh, go watch a game. And so, since they're in the state playoffs or state championship game, uh, you better believe I'm going up there to show some football pride for my high school team. Uh, and it's always like a class reunion, too, seeing the folks I haven't seen in a long time at the football games. Football's a big deal here in Georgia. So, yes, state cha championship, uh, high school football, it's, it's a big deal. All right, so here we go. I have got that whipped up pretty good. I'm gonna grab some of that right there. God, it smells good. And we're gonna add it right here to the face. Quite a bit of soap or lather, thicken it up just a little bit here.
What a great smell. That is a nice smell to linger. All right, here we go. So first pass is gonna be with a rake, and then second pass, I'll swap it over to uh, the closed comb. So open comb, Voskhod blade, first pass. No problem going through the hair there. Uh, it's actually very nice, smooth. Smooth shape. Good, good stuff all in my ears and everything. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick is that was the first pass, and it took pretty much all of it off. So I'm actually unscrewing the handle, so I guess I'll talk while I'm changing out the base plate because it takes literally that long, and I'm already putting the handle back on. So well, I, didn't, I didn't even stop the video. So there we go. There's the close comb uh, plate on now and we'll just roll right into pass number two I thought I was going to have to pause for that but it did not take long I kind of had it set up so it wouldn't take me long to swap it That smell is awesome. Mexican hot chocolate in your face. All right, there we go. Now, close comb, Foss cotton blade. Here we go. No hang-ups whatsoever. Fantastic.
And so for me, this soap is just doing so well. I'm just going to go against the grain a little bit. The residual slickness in that is just crazy. I can get that much. Look at this. I can just re relather with that. Add a little bit of water. And the slickness is there. Do a little pick up. Fantastic. All right, gonna rinse, Allen block, be right back. All right, nice rinse, Allen block. Just wet it just a little bit. Go all over the face there. No issues, no major burning, no major stinging. Good shape. All right. Now, I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. Uh, I'm going to rinse out my brush, and I'll be back in just a moment as soon as I rinse off my face with that one. All right, pat dry, good shave. All right, after shave bomb, don't give you. This is an old bottle, and I mean an old bottle. Lord, there we go. I mean a very old bottle. I think I bought this back when I was still using a cartridge razor years ago. And uh, it's an unscented bomb. And I'm using unscented because I don't really have anything that goes with that soak a lot. It smells so good that I don't want it to go away. And that is not going to cover it up. I can still smell that cinnamon and coffee. Very nice. All right. Quick recap. Parker Marble Handle Black Badger Brush. It's always a go-to for me. That hung up. Uh, Voshkod. There we go. There is the box right there. Voshkod. Uh, Russian Teflon coated uh, blade did a job always does a good job uh, they're very very well uh, made blade sorry I'm trying to organize and talk at the same time not give you my attention and then we have um, the 69 Parker 69 CR convertible and this of course was the last uh, we used which was the closed comb and here's a shot I'll wipe that off it's got some water on it uh, the open comb rake uh, right here. It's got some nice grooves. So you can't put it in backward. That's where the handle goes. Uh, and so it is a great, same thing with here. It's got the grooves on the top uh, of the safety bar. And then on the bottom, it has that same circular uh, pattern like this for the handle. You can't get it wrong. Plus, that's curved a certain way. That would be rough if you put that in backward. Uh, but great shave. Really enjoy it. Uh, it's definitely becoming... Uh, a very one of my favorite uh, razors hands down it is a great investment for the fact that I can have a nice handle a nice uh, head 
and then have two different base plates that are totally different being a rake and a closed comb it is awesome it's a great deal all right and then of course the steel of the show is the monroe shaving company sokolod shaving soap and this stuff is awesome hot chocolate mexican hot chocolate just not normal hot chocolate mexican hot chocolate cinnamon cayenne coffee nutmeg cocoa and vanilla absolutely wonderful knocked out the ballpark go check it out all right guys that's all i got it's time to watch some high school football and uh go pick up my kids from school and all that fun stuff and we're heading to the ball game uh the new atlanta mercedes-benz uh, uh, stadium which i've never been to so here we go this is my first chance to go uh enjoy a football game up there so other than that guys i hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and um you know what happy uh have, have a happy day have a happy you know what have a merry christmas how about that have a merry christmas we're only a few days short short of christmas so uh have a merry christmas and happy shaves <laughs>